Did you know that the gingiva has three main sources of blood supply, four types of nerve structures, and a well-established lymphatic system? So let's understand this in detail. The three sources of blood supply to the gingiva are the supraperiosteal arterioles along the facial and the lingual surfaces of the alveolar bone, arterioles from the crest of the interdental septa, and blood vessels of the periodontal ligament. The supraperiosteal arterioles run along the facial and the lingual surfaces of the alveolar bone and branch out into capillaries that supply different parts of the gingiva. These capillaries extend along the sulcular epithelium and also reach areas between the red apex of the gingiva. Sometimes the arteriole branch out and pass through the periodontal ligament or run over the crest of the alveolar bone. Arterioles from the crest of the interdental septa The arterioles that penetrate the interdental septa provide blood supply to the interdental tissues of the gingiva. They also anastomose with blood vessels of the PDL and the vessels present in the gingival crevicular area. Blood vessels of the periodontal ligament These blood vessels extend into the gingiva and anastomose with capillaries of the sulcus area. Capillaries extend into the papillary connective tissue in the form of terminal hairpin loops. Plexus are seen along the sulcular epithelium and the junctional epithelium. The sulcular plexus has a flat appearance and extends from the base of the sulcus to the marginal gingiva. In the coal area, the anastomosing capillaries and loops are seen. In absence of inflammation, the gingiva has a regular repetitive and layer pattern of the vasculature. In case of inflammation, the vascular pattern appears to be looped, dilated and convoluted. The lymphatic system of the gingiva is well developed and the functions are to remove the excessive fluids, debris from the cells and microorganisms. This helps in controlling the diffusion and resolution of inflammation. The lymphatic drainage of the gingiva joins the network of the periosteum of the alveolar bone and moves to the submandibular lymph nodes. The gingiva is supplied by the maxillary and the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve. However, the nerve endings are present in the gingiva and are mainly seen in the connective tissue. The nerve structures present in the connective tissue are the terminal argyrophilic fibers, the Messner type tactile corpuscles, cross type end bulbs, and the encapsulated spindles. So to summarize, the main source of blood supply of the gingiva, the supraperiosteal arterioles, the arterioles from the crest of the interdental septa, blood vessels of the periodontal ligament. The gingiva has a well-developed lymphatic system which drains into the submandibular lymph nodes and help in resolution of inflammation. The nerve structures present in the connective tissue of gingiva are Messner-type tactile corpuscles, terminal argyrophoric fibers, cross-type end bulbs, and the encapsulated spindles. You can find link to the MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. We hope you liked the video and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for update on new videos. So see you in the next video, till then stay healthy and have an amazing week.